people, thank you for joining us today on the program, Woman to Woman. I'm your uncle, Adesua Osa Uwagye. Today on Woman to Woman, we're going to look at indecent dressing. Okay, I don't have my usual crew in the studio. They are behind the camera, you know, doing what not and everything behind the camera. But I'm here, okay? And we're going to talk about indecent dressing. What is considered indecent by one person may just not be indecent by the other person. Exactly what are we to wear to depict indecent dressing or decent dressing? Indecent is the opposite of decent, obviously. These days you find a lot of things. Men are complaining that they cannot differentiate between the married and unmarried women anymore. You see a lady out there, you want to talk to the woman. It's not everybody that wears the wedding band, no. It's not every woman. Some faiths don't allow it. Some persons don't like it. Some have said that the wedding band usually have a way of leaving mark on their fingers and they don't like it. You know, there are so many reasons why people are not wearing the wedding band, but they are married. And some persons only had the traditional marriage and so they feel that there's no point wearing the wedding band after a traditional marriage. But let me let you know that no marriage is ordinary. No marriage is simple. No marriage is superior to the other. All right, whether marriage under the act, traditional marriage, uh, Islamic marriage, and um, marrying in church, okay? They are all one and the same. No, no one is superior to the other. It's just that when it comes to the issue of inheritance and all of that. Okay, we'll deal with that on another day. What we're talking about today is in decent dressing. A lot of men are now complaining, particularly in this part of the world, that you talk to a woman and the next thing she says, I'm married, though. I'm married, though. don't talk to me like that. But the way that woman is dressed does not depict that that woman is married, does not show that that woman is married. In fact, some are saying that married women should be, you know, time to wrap up and all of that <laughs> you know dress like a married woman how exactly is a married woman supposed to dress how exactly is an unmarried woman supposed to dress how should a woman who is newly engaged is supposed to be dressed these are many more we're going to be looking at today on the program woman to woman all right we'll take a very short break and when we come back we will definitely hit the streets of Benin City and environs to ask some people this question about indecent dressing. What is a married woman supposed to wear? What is a single lady supposed to wear? You know, that kind of uh, questions. What are we supposed to put on to classify that person as decently dressed or indecently dressed? We'll take that short break and immediately after we'll come back from that break, we'll go straight to the streets to see how people will respond to this question. We'll see you in a moment. It depends on the person intention because some of girls, they dress in a way that maybe so they will be attracted to people some dresses like that because they like it it's not i don't think it should be because of the way someone dresses that should make me to have loss for them at least as a person you should have the mindset of controlling yourself first of all what is indecent dressing indecent dressing is an attitude of someone male or female that dresses to show off parts of the body such as the buttocks, the breast and the underwear what are the dangers of indecent dressing assault sexual molestation and sexual abuses in definition of character 
What is the advice on indecent dressing? The advice is that our children should dress well, both fe female and male. The girl, whenever they are wearing clothes, they should learn to cover their, their body from the breast side to the knee. And it should be below the knees. And for the boys, when they are wearing their trousers, it should go with the belt and the shirt with the button down, not showing their boxers. And, to, and for advice to our parents, our parents should try and teach the children how to dress well, especially the mothers. Even the fathers are involved. Because he said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If the mothers can train up the daughters and the men on how to dress well, the world will be a better place to live. And the Bible also stated it. In Proverbs 22, verse 6, which says, Train up a child in the way he should grow. And when that child is old, he will not depart from it. If we learn how to train our children from a tender age to an adult stage, the world will be a better place to live. There will never be act of molestation. There will never be act of indecent dressing. Neither act of sexual abuses. Indecent dressing is a specific term. An attitude of some persons who dresses to show off parts of the body, both male or female. Part of the body that needs to be covered to show off some show off their breasts, their boot talks, or even on their underwears that needed to be covered. Especially females. And well, in the same dressing, to me as a person, I don't encourage in the same dressing because it has, it has led, led many people into prostitution, robbery, and the rest. And if you look at in the country, many of all those girls that have been raped, most of them have been caused by this indecent dressing. Because the way you dress dresses shows the kind of person you are. So to me as a person, I don't encourage indecent dressing. Dressing is uh, putting on apparel that obviously covers nakedness. Right? One of the reasons for dressing and also to make one look beautiful or handsome but where nakedness is not properly covered in the name of fashion to me is indecent dressing and immoral or it's not spiritual and i don't think there's any culture that promotes it it's evil seducing so in my opinion, when the lady come and said, I'm raped, I said, where were you? You're dressing. So these are propelling forces that enhances uh, rape. When you are well covered, nobody sees some vital part that ignites some emotional forces that could lead to rape. That's my opinion. Yeah, uh, indecent dressing, you know, uh, is a very bad thing and uh, I'm against it. It's un 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 unacceptable in our society. You know, indecent dressing is the art of wearing provocative uh, and revealing clothes, most especially by women. You know, uh, you see, uh, indecent dressing has become a trend in our higher institutions these days. You see a lot of girls engaging in indecent dressing to attract men to themselves. Uh, the danger in this indecent dressing is some of the cases, some of the rape cases we've uh, had were caused by indecent dressing. Some of them. 
are it's it's reduced the value of women. I don't know why women and girls are going to indecent dressing. It reduces the value, your value. In the eyes of the men, indecent dressing is a sign of irresponsibility, you know, as a as a lady or as a guy. Uh, indecent dressing uh, make a woman look cheap, you know. And a man that is looking for a wife will never go for a, a, a woman is, that is half naked. And it's not in our culture, you know. Indecent dressing is not in our culture. You know, it's a borrowed culture from the white. And we should all condemn it. And it's un unacceptable. And all the, 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 the parents in this society, we should all come together and condemn this act of indecent dressing among our men, among our children, among our girls and boys. Uh, it's very wrong. I, I'm totally against it. It's a no for me. It's a no, no. That is not the way at all. Forget about what is raining now. Look good, look decent. No matter the style, you should always stand out and look beautiful. You don't have to show your body parts to be beautiful, no. There are some beautiful styles you would make and you will still stand out in the crowd. So please ladies, indecent dressing is a no-no at all. It does not work for me. As a fashion designer, I would tell you it doesn't work at all. Forget about what is raining out there. Those people are not you. You are different, you are peculiar, you are unique. So you should dress properly, dress decently and stand out in a crowd. As a fashion designer, I do not advise or allow my clients to make clothes that are not decent. Even when they bring the styles to me, I try to look for ways to improvise on those styles to make them look beautiful. And when they put on those clothes, they come back telling me, you know, good things about how they felt and how they looked at the occasion they attended. So ladies, please, you have to look good, be chic, be sexy, and... <laughs> All right, so we asked our question. What is decent and what is indecent? How should a married woman dress? You've all seen and heard the responses of people out there. Dress the way you want to be addressed. If you are married, please dress decently. If you are unmarried, dress decently. If you are engaged, dress decently. When you dress decently, you will be accorded the kind of respect that you deserve. Not everybody will want to speak with you. Not everybody will chase you on the road. All right? So dress the way you want to be addressed and you will be happy. There will be no cause for quarrels on the street. Your husband will not have cause to doubt you. Your fiancé, your fiancé, whatever fiancé that you have will not have cause to doubt you. Okay? Dressing decently is very important. Let us try our best possible because whether you like it or not, somebody somewhere is looking up to you. We'll see you again on the program, Woman to Woman next week. Bye-bye.